What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Anno 1800 Let's Play Expert Series minus the Crown Falls DLC, where the AI has been eliminated. So we're coming into Mbessa here once again, just doing more work here because it does it does take a lot of work to uh, to get all their needs all set. I don't think I have actually. Where's my ceramics coming in at? I thought I was, I thought I was bringing that in. Oh, actually, I'm not. I think I'm producing them somewhere though. I should be producing them here. Yeah. So I just need to trade them, and I have illuminated scripts and lanterns here, so seafood stew is the last thing. And if you remember, in the last episode, I'm producing just a ton of lobster here. I've already got, like, just a, <laughs> a lot, like 150 tons or something like that. 162. So, to make the seafood stew, I need the Tef mill that produces the spiced flour. So, we get Tef and spices right here. So that's pretty nice, but also I wanted to check um, Emperor Katema. I thought I saw a gleam. Uh, nope, I don't want that yet. Um, to see what he's got, I don't see... Yeah, he doesn't have like any tap or anything for me. So I'm just going to um, go ahead and start building on Khufu to get the Tef and the spices. Because the seafood stew seems to be kind of the hardest thing to make for the elders. And I think it's really just because... Um, I think it's just because seafoods, like the spices and the lobster are always like spread apart. Like teff is pretty common fertility on these islands, but the, uh, the spices, like I just said, <laughs> the spices in teff are, are pretty far apart. Uh, we have a 75 wands of timber here, so I think I'm going to make, actually, let's get some population going first. Um, let's do blueprint mode. We're just going to do the typical build. You know how it is. We'll do a 2x3 two there, 2x2 two two there, and a... Market can go there. There we go. So this this island can be uh, yeah. That, I think this is just just going to be for spice because I think I'll have I have Tef coming in here anyways. Let's see how much I have coming in here. Yeah. Either way, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna trade it. I'm gonna trade the spices to Dashur anyway. Um, I already have the lobster being traded, right? Maybe not. Doesn't look like I do. Um, so actually, let's get this one that's bringing in clay and load, uh, lobster. Where are you at, lobster? I don't know why it's, ah, there it is. There we go. We're gonna unload the lobster there. And then actually, we can probably, actually, let's see how full Dashur is on the clay. They're, eh, they're not that full. They're getting close, though. What I did here on Dashur, though, is I upgraded the, um, the grand oil. I upgraded the oil harbor to be the final level so we've got more storage of the oil there so that's looking pretty good so now we're of course we're going to need goat's milk for a goat farm and all that um we only have two river spots here one being on the right and one on the left but we can still build like goats farms here on the, the edge of this little oasis so that will be perfect um i think i'm going to put a wanza woodcutter here. Let's build that now. And then probably one here. I, I, well, actually, you know what? I'm just going to delete this and then grab one of my ships, one of my destroyers, or one of my uh, battle cruisers here. Pick up some wood at Tambourine and then um, just drop it off there. I don't really need to go through all this uh, new building stuff. We'll grab the mud bricks and we'll just grab more timber. Because I, I will be wanting to increase the storage on Khufu as well. So we're, this is just going to be for spice, I believe. Um, I don't know, maybe linseed too, maybe a few other things, I don't know. Maybe I'll produce a big surplus of like goat's milk or something and then trade it um, to tambourine maybe. Um, so let's maybe make some... Oh, storage only costs 10, um, 10 wands of timber, that's really nice. So that's what we'll do here, we'll upgrade the depot. And then we'll be ready to drop this off. So I haven't, um, I saw something about like the, the uh, I need to look into this more, but I saw something about like the, the true, some DLC or something involving a tree or a new event or something. I'm going to check that out and maybe do a video on it or a, a let's play involving that. So that's kind of exciting. Um, looks like our research points are maxed out. We might need to get some, um, yeah, we need to get some scholars going. I think that might be the next thing I do here. Um, so, okay. So we got some storage going. Let's upgrade, or let's change the look to that. Um, and then also, I wonder, 
if I can change... Okay, I can't change the look of my houses or anything yet. Maybe maybe it's the European ones. Let's go to the old world. Because I saw something... It's like a... It's like a pack that they gave everyone, or... I don't know if they gave it to everyone, or if they just... Okay, so I can't change the look of the worker's house. I wonder if I can change it... The look of the, um, artisan? No, I can't do that either. That's okay. That's okay, I'll do some more research into it. Or maybe the DLC isn't enabled for this, uh, this current save file? I'm not sure. But anyways, I'll look into it and play around with it on the next, uh, Let's Play, probably. So, alright, so Khufu is looking... We just need to build some more houses here, I think. We'll do a two by three. Two by two. Oh, two by three actually works perfectly there as well. Because we do need a bit of population for all the spice fields. That'd be nice to have like turbo production with like oil, the oil coming in and everything for the tractors, but it's really not like too necessary. But I do want to have a musician's court here um, for the for the happiness at least. An explosion in one of your oh. factories. Ah, uh, that's okay. I'm not too worried about the schnapps factories. All right, so we need the goat's milk for sure. So let's uh, let's do the goat's milk. Um, how about we put it? Uh, you know, I wonder if I can actually fit a module. One there. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, we'll put one there. There. Yeah, I don't like how these modules, they have to be, they have to be, ex they have to be really weird looking. Let's put it there. So that, that's covering, I think that's pretty much all covering the, uh, the An fertile, the fertile area. So let's build a warehouse maybe like right here. And then that way we can build more goat's milk on the upper right side. An explosion in one of your My factories. goodness, all these explosions. I'll let it, I'll let it settle for a while just to make sure, um, the fire's all gone and then that way I can repair them when I get a chance. So there's one goat's milk, and then I do want to build another one. Because I think it's a just a good idea to have quite a few, at least at least two fully fertilized, uh, the two fully um, satisfied goat farms going. Just because just because it's good to have a little bit of a surplus once I actually do start building a lot more, um, a lot more shepherds. All right, so there's goat's milk coming in there. And then let's build some more houses. Just another two by three there and one there as well. So they have the they have the need satisfied for the market, so we're good. Um, and I think did I screw up the road there? Oh no, it looks fine. Looks fine. There we go. All right, so that's that's quite a few more. We'll do some more here too, just to be sure. Um, boo, there we go. Two by two there. Okay, so that looks good. And then uh, we have, looks like we have plenty of timber left over, and we can also upgrade How that trade post. A renowned personage uh, joined Alexandria. Yeah, Alexandria it doesn't have the best like attractiveness for the tourists or anything, so um, I don't get the best items coming in there. But I haven't really taken the time to optimize it either, so that's kind of my own fault that the, that there's not really great items coming in. Um, so let's get some. Ha! Huh, here's the spice. Behind. Requires irrigated soil. So. I think what I want to do is maybe irrigate this whole spot here. I think that would be good. So let's do a water pump. And then what we'll do is, let's see, we build the canals. Yeah, so I want to build, we'll build out to here. And I don't know how much the limit is. I think I do have a, yeah, a company wide bonus of irrigation capacity plus 15. And that is from the, uh, that is, that is from the Ambesson uh, quest line. So, um, what I want to do as well as also, okay, let's, let's bring it this way and then we'll, I'm trying, I'm trying to see the very edge of it. Okay. The very edge of the green here is like the fertile area. So I want to make sure that I'm getting like the most out of it here. Um, and then I can build bridges across the canal too. So it's really, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, Let's bring, let's bring it maybe this way. So we can build like a little fertile area there. Maybe build it like that. And then I, I know it's kind of janky, like as far as, as um, I think maybe that's a good one. Oh, yep, yep, right here. It's the perfect, the perfect coverage. So I wanted to build it maybe right there. So we have perfect 
perfect coverage, like I just said. We'll move it to here as well. Okay, so that way we have like a really nice fertile spot here. Um, and I'm not at the capacity yet. I do have quite a bit left, so that's really nice actually. Um, we'll move this one out to there. So it looks like we're gonna have quite a bit, quite a bit of uh, fertile area. Move this one out there. So that's 210. I don't think I really need to make any more fertile land yet because that's I, that might be all I need to be honest with you. Um, so actually, maybe we'll build another goat's farm. Nah, I don't need to worry about that. But I do need to get some linseed. So, I don't know. We might build a river slot there too. But I don't know. I, I kind of want to satisfy their needs, but I kind of don't as well because I, I don't think it's I don't think it's really that important because we're just we're just getting spice here. So, um, yeah, it's really not that needed. So, what I want to do is maybe build a road kind of coming this no no we, let's let's figure this out. So maybe I could do this. I could put it right here, put one there and one there and build the spices kind of out to here that see that right there is 100 124 128 just like that so that way okay build that out to there and then maybe I can put it like a goat's farm here just experimenting with that one two um, two, three, I guess I can put one here. I don't know, I guess, I don't know. I'm gonna delete that for now. Um, then we'll build a road here just to get it kind of started. Spice farm there, boom, boom, and we'll put the warehouse directly across the street. All right, so how quickly does spice produce? Oh. I didn't expect um, so the spice produces at one minute and then the okay the Tef mill is 30 seconds so that'd be cool to get Tef here as well but uh, I know I'm making plenty of it there but if I could make the oh I need elders for the Tef mill that's a little annoying I guess I would need to make finery and dried meat here too which I guess I guess I could I I don't know I kind of just want to make it all here because that way, that way I don't have to worry about creating that production chain on, you know, on another island. But then again, I guess it's not that big of a deal. Because here in Dashur, like, it, it would be more efficient to have done because I don't have to build out all the extras. So I could just build a Tef mill here. I've got plenty of Tef, so I just need to bring the spice over. And the lobster, obviously, but I'm already doing that. So, yeah, let's just do that. So, spice is there. Um, maybe... How about... Let's do this. Let's bring this road here. Over here, this way, up there. And we're just going to snake this around and down. Come on. There we go. I was trying to hit the middle button to make, to make the road kind of snake around the mountain there. Um, so, let's do some more spices here. We'll just bring it... Bring the, the modules all the way up. All the way up. There, that's 128. And then we'll do the same here. I'm just doing a pretty simple layout, although this fertile area is kind of wasted. Um, so I, I would really like to not waste that. Alright, there's two more. And then let's do two more here as well. One and two. Spice farm. I like how the I like how the 128 lines up perfectly if you line it up with the edges of the building. Um, there's no like leftover modules just sitting there. It's kind of nice. Um, oh, I don't have any Wanza timber. Let's go grab some more. Grab some more from uh, Tabarim here, and we'll just speed it. Up. It's already sped up, actually. Okay. I'm um, actually we'll just grab it for with this guy, and then um, since he's already here. There we go. One, two, three. Just because I don't really have the, uh, I don't have the Wanza production, which is fine. 
So we're bringing in, looks like plenty of goat's milk, I guess. Um, yeah, yeah, we're bringing in, bringing in plenty of it. So the spice is coming in at a nice rate. Yeah, spices are coming in, looks like plus one. I could check it here, though. Yeah, at plus four. Okay, cool. This battle cruiser is on the way. Awesome. But yeah, I just wanted to really focus on Mbessa. I love Mbessa a lot, and all I really want to do is is completely satisfy the needs of the elders. I think I'll consider it done once once that's over. You know, um, we'll do a fifteen percenter here, and then a, then like a fifteen, um, then a fifteen Sensor happiness there. The cranny of the boom, boom, boom. Wands of timber, good to go. And I can upgrade this again. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. An influence bonus. Just so that I can uh, really have the storage that I want. Okay, cool. So that's that's quite a few spice fields. Um, I was wondering what I could put here, and I, I just I really I don't see anything that I could really do besides maybe goats farm. I guess to fully utilize this space, I could do this. Um, let's do one. Actually, the goats farm takes a bit of a bit of work here. One, two. No, actually, that that's fine. That's okay that that's not utilized. I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> I'm just going to. Uh, this is what I'll do. I'll build a road going across here, going across there, and then maybe one coming along this canal over to there. So that way I can build the canal this way and then down here as well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm going to build actually. Gonna build it kind of here, and that way. I wonder if is that. How about that? Oh, I have to build it there. Okay. Yep. There we go. That's that's the full coverage there. There. That leaves me at two fifty three for the um for the irrigation limit. So I'm gonna put another spice farm there. And we're just going to put the 128 modules. 128 goes... There. Then we'll put another one right here. Oh, the 128 um, is going to be... Okay, how did I mess that up? That's only 110. Whoops. I don't know how I screwed that up. Well... Let's delete that. I want it to look, I want it to actually look decent. <laughs> so, um, we'll go one more over. And then, um, use it that way. There we go. And then that way I can put, like, a firehouse here, too. Put, like, a, yeah, for the, with the irrigation and everything. Um, I'm just gonna fill up the rest of the area, too. Oh, that's 128 there. What? How did I... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put the 128 down. And then, um, and then I'll build the canal around it. There, there's 128 there. And then we'll just delete this. I'm very particular about Anno sometimes, because I, I, I don't know, I'm weird because like I'm okay with with slacking on certain things, but I'm not okay with like, with like leaving um, awkward looking houses or roads. I don't know, it's it's weird. Why am I like this? I don't know. Okay. So cool. We we have. Um, please tell me that's fertilized. Not much water nearby. Uh, not even a stream. Oh, it's because I have this road here. That's why it's looking a little goofy. I think that's. If I move it one over, then I don't have the room. Okay. Let's just delete this road. Now I have to. Let's delete that. It's because of the road. I shouldn't have put that there. Okay, so let's move this over. Okay, and then now we can put the other one right here. Now I'll put the road on this other side here. But no big deal. And then we have to move this one one over. To be right there. There we go, perfect. We'll put this right here. There, 128. Perfect. Okay, so hopefully... Oh, yeah, we need to upgrade that warehouse because we do have a lot coming in there. 
And I wonder if I could actually drop one more right here. One more farm here. I could probably... Oh yeah, I can definitely do that. Put it right there. And as long as I don't put it in a red area, I'm okay. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, most of the island is actually is employed at the spice it's little spices farms. Let's see how much we're producing now. Nine. Okay. That's awesome. That's actually quite a lot. I think the spice farms look pretty cool too. You got people working in the fields, like working these... I wonder what kind of plants these are. I, I wonder just like... Because there's so many different spices out there, you know, that like... I'm wondering what kind of spices these ones are specifically. Uh, who knows? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, so um, now we have plenty of tough grass there, so I wonder if I have any idle traders here. Flagship. Um, this one's bringing just timber. Oh, because it's... Okay. Um, let's go to the old world and check on these explosions that happened earlier. It's probably... Oh yeah, it's over here. This area is constantly just so screwed up. From, uh, from explosions and stuff. Okay, so... Um, tourists, I'm not really that interested in. I just wanted to make a few tourists, a few hotels, just to kind of, like, see what they're about. Um, like, it looks like the tourist is actually capable of quite a bit of income. Like, like these hotels are making, like, 2000 a piece, which is pretty cool. Um, and then I have, like, these orchard groves that are helping to make... Um... Oh yeah, jam. So, that's pretty cool. Alright, so I built those back up. Um, I wanted to check and see if I have a... Oh, that's, that's bringing in gas. Let's go to the Arctic and see if I can... Actually, no. Let's just go back to the old world and see if I can buy a cargo ship from Archie, maybe? Um, nope, he doesn't have any. I have a random oil ship there. I think, oh, that was for the Ambassador Oil. Town Carnival, that's cool. A curious port town. Very nice. Um, yep, let's make a cargo ship. We'll make two of them because I do want to utilize that extra that extra trading power in Mbessa. Alright, so we're making lots of spices here. That's great. And we're, we're already bringing the teff here on Dashur. At least I think we are. Yeah, we're already, we're already making a good amount of teff, so... I want to go ahead and get the Tef mills going here, which can go, I mean, they can go here. This is Dashur's main uh, production drag here. And they take 30 seconds apiece, and I already have like a good bit of lobster. Yep, lots of lobster coming in. So we can move the roads kind of like this. Actually, let's do brick People roads. Celebrate your leadership. I have enough bricks. Got plenty of bricks, actually. Then we can make this like a main, um, a main street there. Looks good. And they're not grabbing the spices yet, but they will be. Um, and actually, you know what? I could just use one of my uh, battle cruisers here to trade, but uh, or my flagship, I guess. Yeah, I'll just I'll just create a trade route with my flagship, and then. And then use the um, trade routes, um, and then I'll use my cargo ship as it gets here. Where are you at, flagship? The Mankey Crab. The Mankey Crab, that is a strange name. Um, there's Dashur, and so I want to load. Um, where's the spice? There. And I'll just load this up completely. Perfect. Alright, so that's going now. It's just going to pick it up here and take it over. I know it might be a little slower than a battle cruiser, but I don't really want to trade with a battle cruiser until I get my cargo ship here. I don't know why. I'm not like it really matters, I guess. They both have three slots. It's just that this guy's going to be a little bit slower. Yeah, it's just temporary. Whatever. Um, okay, so I could actually make room for more spices here. And to be honest, I think I will. Um, I could probably put some here. Maybe one here. I don't know. Let's take the road and put it kind of linked up there. And then... I think this road... Actually... 
How many do I have that I need left? Um, oh, I can't really make much more irrigation at this spot, so... I could maybe... Let's see if I could put one here and fit the extra... Fit the modules there. So let's delete that road. Okay. Um, let's get the spice farm. Put it here. But yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to utilize as much spice as possible because... Uh, Oh, there we go, 128. Because those Tef mills are 30 seconds, so they're gonna they're gonna take a lot of uh, they're gonna take a lot of materials, and I want to be able to make them as fast as possible. And actually, maybe I could speed this up a little bit too. I could actually put some bricks here. There we go. They can move a little bit quicker. There we go. Awesome. Actually, let's put some here, too. So you get a, that little bit of a speed boost on the sides of the warehouse, too. Um, we should probably... We could put another one here. Yeah, let's put another one there. I don't have any more bricks to use for the roads, but that's okay. Put another one here, too. That way these, these like, three or four can use that one. That way the, the loading docks aren't all full. Okay, so we can actually... We can put a road here. Since we're out of irrigation, I don't have to worry about it there anymore. Put the road there, and then delete this road, actually. Delete this one here. Okay, so I wonder if I could put another spice mill right here. Or not a spice mill, a spice farm here. Your people are miserable. Probably could. My people are miserable, what? An explosion. In one of your factories. Is that another one in Alexandria? Oh, it's a gas mine. Gas mine on APEP. Okay. There's 106 modules and 128 will come easily. There we go. There's one spice farm. Edged out. We'll put this small we'll put a small warehouse like right there. Bring the road up. And around. There we go. And then I want to fit another one right here if I can. That would be awesome. We'll put it uh, right there and see what happens. Oh yeah, I'll be able to easily get that. Okay. Easily. Perfect. There. I think I'm all set on spices for Khufu. Um, that's great. That's really good. Okay, so I wonder, actually, let's go to the old world and see if, um, yeah, they're all set, actually. Let's, uh, send these to Khufu. And what I'm going to do is, uh, take this manky crab off. Oh, he's taking them right now. Alright, so once he drop those off, drops those off at Dashur, actually, let's get rid of that route. I'm gonna get rid of the route and then, um... Send him here and just create a new one with the, uh, or put put the cargo ship on the pre-existing route. Ordinates plotted. All right, moving on up. Moving on up, and so I probably already have. Yeah, I have quite a few spices Back here already, so that's really nice. Perfect. So it looks like these are already working, aren't they? They should be. Oh yeah, Tef mills are going strong right now. So let's get the the Watt kitchens going. Oh, these are huge, actually. Wow. And they take uh, a minute. So I can I should do four of these then. Um, do I have... Uh, I don't think... 70. Okay, four. so that'll be 280 um, elders. So I need to make some more elders as well. Which is a little annoying, but yeah, whatever. A little annoying. It's, it's... I guess what's annoying to me is that the production buildings in Mbessa take so so many elders like I just have to constantly be upgrading my population um, and creating more population just to be able to support these crazy production buildings because um, what I'm what I'm actually trying to do is support like you know support two different islands but but then you know part of part of the issue too is I can't share the workforce between you know I can't share the I can't have like a, a commuters pier in Mbessa, or I can't have one in, in the New World either. As far as I know, I think that's a mod, so... That's a little... That's, that, I think that's what frustrates me. If I could have a commuter peer, I would be happy. Because sharing workforce is a really, really, really nice quality of life thing. 
Did I hear a fire sound or no? Let's go to the Arctic and fix that uh, fix that glacier. Hey, Pep here. What's your problem? Oh, right here. Oh no, that was the. Oh, and I need timber to fix that. Darn it. Ready for a challenge. Um. What you doing here? Oh, you're slowed down. Um. I need to bring timber here. Oh, you know, and I wouldn't right. mind bringing in one more airship if I could. Oh, I need more gas here to do that. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's 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 take this guy, bring him back down to uh, actually. Yeah. Let's bring him back down to King William Island. Your ship has returned from its voyage. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop off this um, probably probably the pemmican. We're gonna drop that off, bring timber, drop it off at Apep, and then uh, resume the trade route. Virtuoso. Um, cause, cause it's not gonna, yeah, it's just not gonna work very well if... Okay, let's drop off the pemmican. Oh, come on, I can't ditch it either. Let's just go over here. Just throw it overboard. I don't really wanna... I have so much of it because I'm trading with the Arctic people. So, let's bring 50 of it and then move it over here to Apep. We'll drop it off and then resume it. Yeah, but these glaciers are a huge tax on resources, and I'm just not sure that the natural gas is even worth it. You know, like I, I would rather, I would rather just bring oil from the New World. It's, yeah, it's a little frustrating to me as well with the with the glaciers, but it's okay. It's okay because I don't have to enable this DLC. You know, I don't have to enable that and worry about it. But Mbessa definitely is, um, in my opinion, I. I don't know if Enbessa is really worth having the DLC enabled either. I do like having Crown Falls, but that's just a huge... I don't know, that's a, that's a huge one to really... Um, I don't know. Crown Falls is just like... Because you, you wind up depending pretty hard on, on the island itself. So, yeah. But I, I have plenty of Let's Plays with all the DLC enabled. Well, I have like two Let's Plays with... Not plenty. I have like two Let's Plays with all the DLC enabled, so... Um, there we go. We'll resume this one. So, um, you guys do get to see, like, some of my... Let's drop this off. Okay. So, you guys do get to see me playing, actually, through some of those DLCs. Although, I do a lot of the questing off-screen. The questing I do off-screen because, like, it... What's the point, right? Unless you guys really want to see, like... If you guys, if you guys really want to see, like me finishing the quest and stuff, then that's that's fine, I don't mind, but... Um, okay. This one is called the Castaway. So let's create a... Actually... Let's put the Castaway on there. There we go. There, now I'm bringing spices. And then... So I created some more here, so let's, let's get the, uh... the Watt Kitchens going. Four of them. Perfect. All right, so now let's go full speed. So happy. Okay, so the elders are doing okay here, but I do need to bring like some stuff. Let's get this this guy. Let's get the hydra up here. So here on Tambourine, what do I need? I need to bring ceramics and seafood stew and lanterns. Okay, so let's upgrade a few more. There. Now they can uh, live to their heart's content here, and I should build some, actually, some more, uh, some more shepherds here. Because ta it's funny, because Dashur is actually ahead of Tambourine as far as like, as far as progression goes. Um, but it was necessary. But yeah, it's funny because like Tambourine is like the focus of the Ambassador DLC, and uh, it's like it's just not fully like. It's not fully, uh, fully upgraded like Dashur is. Okay, so I think we, I think that just enabled us to, yeah, so we can use the seafood stew now. Ceramics and, um, the illuminated script. I don't know if I'm actually bringing any in here. No, I'm not, I'm not bringing it in here. So I need to bring over illuminated script, um, lanterns, seafood stew and ceramics, so... Because I can't actually produce any of that here on its own. 
And actually, how do I have lanterns here? Because lanterns take, uh, yeah, they, lanterns take, yeah, the, the chandler. As well, as well as glass makers. So you know what I could do is take the ship that's bringing in the logs and also, and drop, um, ditch the spots of 200 logs and then just put glass in there. Or wild cotton too. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's something. All right. So, so what we need to bring from Dashur is ceramics and seafood stew and illuminated scripts. How many illuminated scripts do we have here? Not that many. I should pause it here. Yeah, let's pause it here. Let's pause the consumption of these here in Dashur so that way Tambourine can be fully filled in. All right, so let's get the Hydra. Create route. Where are you at, Hydra? Actually, I have an idle one here. That's in the old world, the Dulcibella. Anyways, let's do the Hydra um, from Dashur to Tambourine. So we need ceramics, we need illuminated scripts, and seafood stew. So the seafood stew is right. Oh no, that's that's not that's uh that's not the seafood stew. Uh the seafood stew is that's spiced flour. Why can't I find the uh seafood stew here? Am I just like blind or something? I think I'm blind. Um, why, why isn't it here? I, I, I know I've had troubles with this the before, like trying to find like Krauchok. Oh, there it is. There it is. Um, cause I've, I've had a couple times where I was like just struggling to find Krauchok. Um, and also let's get this guy. Let's trash these. Um, and then actually let's find, let's find this one. Um, is it on its way? Where is it? Oh. It's on its way to Mbessa, probably... Oh, there it is, there it is. It's about to drop in here. So, let's go in. Alright, where's that airship? Waiting here, home. nope, that's not it. That one's bringing in the lobster and the clay. Alright, it'll it'll arrive here eventually. There it is, there it is. I gotta, I gotta be quick about it, because... Uh... Alright. And actually, I really, yeah, I guess I'll keep the two there in case I want to up production of paper or something. I don't know. Yeah, I do. I probably do have a lot of logs here, though. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really need. I can only I can only drop stuff over water. There we go. So, um, so this one's going to, going from Philae. Oh, yeah. I can just. Because Philae is my like second like huge capital, so I can load glass from here. Oh yeah, absolutely. Load a hundred of it. And da, sure, okay, cool. And then I need to bring something else. I, so I need to go to the new world here and check on the cotton. I need to see, I need to see basically where I'm producing the most cotton at. And I don't think it's actually anywhere because it's going to be an People agricultural product. Um, so actually, Siwa is producing 12 of it? Seriously? Siwa, are you like, are you insane? I wonder what I, what I, what was I doing here to produce this much? Oh, right. Okay. Um, so yep, it's all right here. Crazy. I should up the storage though, to be honest. We'll do, let's see, four and yeah, we'll, we'll just do a whole bunch. Um, okay. So that, that was, that was easy. We're going to, oh, see if Isabel maybe has a cargo ship that I can grab. Um, nope. To get um, let's create a route from trade route. We're gonna put this on the Dulcibella, Dulcibella, however you say that. Um, from Siwa, we're going to load. Well, just uh, cotton for now. Um, I know it's gonna be kind of wasted, but we're gonna to go to Mbessa and bring it into Dashur. Nope. Stop that. We're gonna unload there. Actually, we're gonna do like 150. There we go. Okay. 
we're bringing that to Dashur. And now what we need to do is, let's see, go to Mbessa. We do have an island where there's a bee abundance. So this is called Dowry. Um, I'll just name this Thebes. Oops. <laughs> okay. So I might have an island already named that, and I probably do, but that's just off the top of my head. So um, let's bring some good materials here. Like 150 timber and some bricks as well. And then um, we're just going to bring them here. And I do want to see... So the lanterns, where they at? Um, so this takes... Are you serious? This takes elders. What? Oh, no. Oh, I can just deliver... Okay, okay. That's fine. So so the Chandler, I can build the Chandlers on Dashur and then the Apiary. Oh, this requires irrigated soil. Um, and then the Apiary I can just build here on Thebes. That's fine. Thebes has two. Two river slots. So that's actually nice. I can... I can build the irrigation out here and then just spam this whole, like, column with, uh... With apiaries. But first I have to... Uh, I'm gonna blueprint... I'm gonna blueprint all the good stuff here. We'll do 2 by 3 And... And actually... We'll just put the market kind of like this. Do a 2 by 3 here. Do the same thing... Oops. Right here. So like... So like late game... It's pretty easy to like to get this stuff going for uh, to like like say for instance like I've already got a ton of cotton being made because I was trying to make like fur coats for artisans but then I found like really good cards for it so I just have this huge surplus of cotton so it's easy to get like these candles going late game because I can just trade my surplus from uh, from the new world here so it's pretty nice. Um, yep, we gotta upgrade the storage here. Oh, it takes bricks. We can do that. There we go. And then, I think what I can do... Oh yeah, yeah, up upgrading your trade post is such a big deal, because that storage you get is incredible. So, let's do this. I can upgrade it again, that's funny. And I actually might do that, to be honest. I think I will. Yeah, it only takes 15 and 10. I mean... That's easy enough. So, Your people are starting to get sick. Starting to get sick. Ugh, the Arctic flu. See, the, the Arctic is... I'm I'm not doing that DLC anymore. Arctic, I'm going to take that off on my next playthrough. I get so frustrated with it. Um, okay, so let's do... How about we'll do this? We'll take this to the edge of the fertility area. Um, and then take this road all the way to that edge. And then we'll put a small warehouse here. Put a road kind of around it. And then make a double road. And then we'll do the uh, the goat's farm here for the milk. Um, is it okay that it's partly fertilized? Or partly... Um, I mean, the majority of it is good. Three and four. Okay, so are all of them good? Yep, they're all irrigated. Perfect. Then we'll do this one too. One, two, three, four. Three and four. Perfect. And upgrade those. Awesome. We can upgrade this too, actually. There, now the now the goat's milk is provided. See, goat's milk is so easy, that's why I pretty much do it on every on every island, because it's um it, it it's a basic that's need. It provides it provides ex an extra five. three shepherds, which is actually really nice. So so that's, uh, you know, it's a nice, easy thing to do. Dashur has a an elder shortage? What? Are you kidding me? What is going on there? Oh, it's because I stopped. It's because I stopped. The, oh, my goodness. Okay, I forgot about that. So I'm going to need to, I'm going to need to really get some other stuff going here for, like, illuminated scripts. That's going to be... Uh, it's gonna be frustrating. Um, having a surplus of paper, actually. It's interesting. 
Um, and it's still increasing, so maybe... Maybe I can make another Illuminar, actually. Yeah, I'll do that. It takes a hundred elders, though. My goodness. Um, so, so the, uh, the Shepherd workforce is coming back up, too. Um, maybe I could build... Okay, nope. And the Wands of Woodcutters, I don't really... I don't know. But Dashur is huge. I think this is the biggest and best in, um, city I've ever made. To be honest. Okay, now let's, uh, let's get these going. Boom. Okay, now, I probably have a good surplus of goat's milk. Yeah, and finery, that's doing really good. Dried meat is low. So what's the issue? I, I'm sure I have plenty of salt. I bet you it's Sangha cows, right? Nope. Um, it's actually, yeah, it's going to be Sangha cows. Because <laughs> I need, I need more, um, more dried meat. But yeah, my video is actually getting to be 46 minutes long, so I think I'm going to call it here in a minute. Um, dry house. Um, Sangha cows there. I have plenty of room for this, though. So let's, um, let's put more dry houses down. Let's put, like, two. Put two down there. I have plenty of salt. Like, I'm not worried about salt. Boom. Those two. And... We'll get the uh, the Sangha cows going, probably right here. Bring it all the way out to there, the road. And then, so I wanna do this. We will copy these here. Yep, we'll copy these two. And put them. The people's Oh no, I can't leadership. do that, dang it. Oh, I can put it here though. Nice, absolutely. We can delete that, maybe. Oh no, that's that's um, that's like unfertile soil. Okay, um, let's put this brick road across here, and maybe I can fit another Sangha cow thing right there. There we go. That warehouse is fully upgraded. Sangha cows are coming in there, so the dried meat should be coming in pretty soon. Yep. Then hibiscus tea is also is also failing here. Hibiscus tea. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Um, hibiscus. Okay. Okay. So all hibiscus tea really needs is the um, is the tea spicer, and I'm bringing in. I think what I'm doing is I'm bringing in the stuff from uh, Katema. Yeah, I am. So let's put a tea spicer. All I need to do is build a couple of these. So because I just want I want the workers to be to be happy as well. So. I'll probably need to build more finery soon too, but that's okay. Yep, Dashur. Yep, I get it. Thank you for telling me. I know Dashur is is having a little shortage. Let's build the roads kind of right here. And actually, I should probably just make these brick roads so that the uh, the fire station, well, the fire stations right here, and it has a pretty long distance but it doesn't come all the way out to here, so that's okay. All right. All right, so we're getting uh, we're getting more workers in here, and yep, the shortage. Yeah, I know, I know what's going on. So, One final look. Um, so Tambream. We have the needs coming in. We need lanterns. You so once, once we get lanterns, so I, I'm determined to get this done in one video, so this might be an hour long video. In fact, it probably it's it's close already. So, um, I hope you guys don't mind. So I do have glass um, coming into Dashur, and uh, okay, that's good. All right. So what I need to do is this requires irrigation. So let's get some irrigation going. Water pump. Let's bring a. I like to put a bridge right next to the water pumps, if I can help it. And then we're gonna bring a road kind of this way and make the other roads straight out this way just for uh just have it looking good and then i want to make a double road actually just for simplicity or just for uh just to look just to look good okay now we're going to build some irrigation uh canals and what i want to do is probably put them like this i'll put 
We'll put them not not that far up. We'll probably go up to here. And then I want to see what the apiary... Actually, do they have modules? They probably do. Oh, they okay, it's a field. Right, okay, the apiary is a field. So, um... So I, I don't want to do it like this. Since it's a field, I just want to... Um, delete that. Since it's a field, I want to put the irrigation kind of like this, and then I'll make the road later. And it's kind of like a smaller, I think it's a smaller field. I think I only saw 96 modules there. Well, we're about to find out. So, um, I want to put the road like this. Yep, like that. Had to go and then, this. um, we'll put the canal kind of like that. And then what I want to do is just get the fertility... Oh, maybe I should move it right here. Because we're gonna we're gonna have plenty of fertility modules. I'm not worried about people that. People are healthy again. People are healthy healthy again. That's that's great. And nope, not there. Nope, not there. It was this one. The people yep. celebrate. This your is leadership. the one. And I want I want all of this to be fertile because I want to build the uh, apiaries all the way up into this area. Build this up. Uh, there. Actually, I wanted just enough space for a road. So, and then we'll put this one right there. Okay, so it looks a little janky, I know. But, uh, had to be done for the full fertility. It had to be done. Alright, so, let's put the apiary... We'll put one here. Oh, it's 192 modules. Oh, I... Okay. I did not expect that. I thought it was just going to be, like, small, you know? Um, okay, so one's there. Perfect. We'll put one here. And these produce actually 30 seconds. Wow, that's, that's awesome. That is really good. I like the fast farms, you know? Like, it's really annoying to have farms that, that take... Oh, we're out of, uh... Battle cruiser ready. Yep, we're out of Wanza. Okay. Let's bring it back to Dashur and grab some. So yeah, Dashur is actually looking good again, but yeah, I'm I'm trading all the seafood stew and luminate scripts to somewhere else so they can they can just deal with it. But yeah, otherwise it's uh it's doing good here. So coins. So yeah the people in Ambessa in the New World as well don't really make you the money, like like the old world does like I think the skyscrapers are really getting a ton I think the next episode too I'll focus more on the skyscraper because that was my goal focus on Mbessa get their needs done and then also um and then also get the skyscrapers done and then I'll move on to the uh to the next to the next uh let's play or whatever content I have planned for the channel so so yeah, this I know this video is long as hell, but I wanted to reach this goal. And once I do, once I get the um, once I get the trade route set up for the for the bees, for the yeah for the no storehouse. for the output for the uh, bees to be um, sent to Dashur, then then I'll I'll call it. Um, let's let's put let's put this here. There we go. And I, I still can't make the uh, I still can't make it because I, I don't have enough wands of timber. That's fine. This one's almost here. That Thebes, the B capital of my empire. This is the B capital. Okay. Small warehouse there. Boom. Apiary. Boom. Okay. And then put another one here. I just want I want a lot of them. Because I don't want to have to worry about a shortage or something, and the candlers take a minute. So really, all right. So I want I want four of these. Well, I mean they produce in thirty seconds. I mean like I and I well I have a big storage as well. So 
I can just keep... I can just make more. And I'm glad I made, like, a little space. Oh, I didn't, actually. I might have to delete some of that, uh... Oh. Oh, that only has 149. Whoops. I'm, I screwed that one up. And 179. There we go. That's 192. Perfect. Okay. I wonder actually what my production is here of the bees. Um, it's actually six. Okay. Let's make that eight. <laughs> Let's make that eight. Um, oh yeah. Now this one, this little part becomes unfertile because of what I just did. So I can put that there. Then make this apiary, and then I'm only going to make, yeah, four of these. So bring it there, here. All right, awesome. That's 176. And there we go, 192. Perfect. There we go. So the warehouse will have its work cut out for it. Let's do this. Let's make this all a brick road. No big deal there. I brought over like, yeah, I brought over like a hundred bricks. So, um, yep, let's make that a large warehouse too. All right, the bees are good to go. Good to go. And maybe I can make some more spices here too. I don't know. But uh, either way. Either way. Um, how about... I'm just gonna use I'm just gonna use this uh, Nantucket three to create a route. Where is Nantucket three? There you are. And I'm going to bring from Thebes to actually yeah Dashur. Oh, where's those bees? Where's the hives? There they are. Um, beeswax. There we go. Okay. Bring that there, and then I wonder if I do I have glass already in Dashur? I do, and cotton. Okay, this is perfect. Lanterns, they only take 75. The lantern smith, one, two, three, four. Yep, that's gonna be it. And they take 75 a piece, so so that's um, that's 130. 132, I'll say that's going to take 260 elders, so, so I have plenty for that. Perfect. All right, now that's going to produce my lanterns. And then, um, this one here can load 50 lanterns. Just load whatever it's got. Boom. It's done. It's done. The needs are complete. All of them satisfied. And I came in under an hour. <laughs> that feels good. All right. So that, that's complete. Ambessa is wrapped up. Um, once they have that need satisfied there, I'll be happy. But uh, yeah, Katima still has a couple quests, but I don't really care about that, to be honest with you. So next episode. Um, next episode is going to be skyscrapers. So I'm going to come up here and work on these. I'll probably do an investor one as well. Actually, yeah, let's do, let's do um, a little spire here for the investors. Upgrade skyscraper. Boom. Actually, there is some headroom yet to match my expectations. Okay, does this have a panorama? The panorama is weak. So it looks like the panorama effect increases if it's the only skyscraper here. So missing residence. Oh. Yeah, it's missing jewelry. But check out this uh, engineer skyscraper. It's making like almost 1700. Panorama has an intense effect here. That's kind of cool, actually. Anyways, so skyscrapers are next, and um, yeah, that's about it. This Let's Play is coming to a close pretty soon, so I'm excited, though. Um, I will catch you on the next episode, and have a good one. Take care.